Now we want to talk about some of the actual tips of shoveling the snow. Uh, one thing that I want you to remember, the earlier you can shovel the snow, the better. It's lighter, more flaky, and it's going to be safer for you uh, overall. In terms As of finding the actual shovel that's right for you, it comes down to a simple formula. Uh, pick the shovel that just feels right. Uh, we talk about ergonomics. We want to pick one that has a comfortable height, comfortable grip, uh, so that you feel like you uh, like it's a natural position for you. The other thing that makes sense is the blade of the shovel. Uh, if you're a little person, a lightweight, uh, you know you're not going to be trying to lift a lot of uh, uh, snow, uh, then you should pick a shovel with a small blade. And actually we recommend that for most people because this can get pretty heavy uh, shoveling snow on a repetitive basis. Uh, so let me demonstrate a, a few uh, maneuvers in terms of how we recommend shoveling snow. So you want to get a hand as close to the shovel blade as comfortable as you can and one closer up to the handle. Some people prefer to use the handle, uh, some people prefer to have both hands on the shaft, whatever is most comfortable for you. As you go down, again, we do not recommend bending at the waist. This is terrible for the lumbar but spine. When you're shoveling snow, you want to concentrate on using these big muscles of your thighs, your glutes, uh, this is what's going to protect your lower spine. So again, you want to bend at the knee, you want to feel those quads activating, you want to get down low, shovel the snow, you're feeling those quads, again, you're not feeling the strain on your lower back. You want to step into the toss, 